Hello everybody, it's Brandon Billy from CorkandJava.com. Today we are reviewing La Colombe cold brew coffee. What better way to start your summer day when it's boiling hot outside with a cold glass of ice cold coffee. Stay tuned for our review. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Cork and Java, your go-to place for coffee and wine reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to enrich and expand your experience with all of your favorite beverages. So if that sounds as interesting to you and you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button below so you're notified when future videos come out. So today we're reviewing this cold brew coffee that you can pick up at uh, Harris Teeter at least, that's where we got this one. It's La Colombe and it is unsweetened. Um, so typically during the summer months, we drink a lot of cold brew. And actually we have a video, um, I'll link it down in the description, showing you the best way to make cold brew coffee. We actually got a batch brewing up right now that'll be ready tomorrow morning. It's really easy to make, but um, if you don't have a, a good enough grinder, if you're not using a burr grinder that can have a consistent coarse grind, you're gonna have a really muddy cup of cold brew. So if you haven't invested in a, a burr grinder yet, um, this might be the way to go. Something from your local supermarket. This is like five or six bucks, something like that. And it's, I don't know, 42 fluid ounces, so that'll get you a few days. Um, but yeah, it's this one is super simple. It's unsweetened, it's a medium dark roast, Arabica coffee. Um, it's cold press, just like, we recommend making here, um, making your own cold brew coffee. Uh, it's water uh, and 100% coffee, and they have a natural flavor added in there too, so I'm, I'm kind of wondering what that's gonna be about. I hope it's not kind of like Starbucks's uh, cold brew coffee where they definitely add some kind of sweetness to it that, to me, it, it takes, a, takes away from the actual coffee flavor if you're uh, a purist like uh, we are, so. So let's just give it a try. All right. All right. Does it say to shake well? This is consumed seven days after opening, so. Um, I don't see anything. Okay, well, I'm gonna no. shake it anyway. So let's just keep refrigerated. Okay. All right. So. Let's give it a try. It's okay. It's um, typically the cold brews I make are a little bit stronger than this. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a little bit weaker than we're probably used to. But um, that's just because I like making my cold brews pretty strong. I like um, having them steep in the grounds a little extra time and. Uh, um, I also add a, a little bit extra grounds than you actually need, so I like my cold brews to be strong. Um, so this is a, a little bit weaker. If you like uh, unsweet tea and you like coffee too, this is probably um, a good middle ground there. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a lot of unsweetened tea. Yeah, um, so when I went to the store and I was looking at cold brew coffee, there's like four or five like giant shelves like of all different kinds of just cold brew coffee so it was pretty um, interesting to see like that much available I mean they had like light roast they had all different brands they had some that were um, like sweetened with like vanilla and like all sorts of different things so there's a lot of options out there which I mean like I said we you know we drink ours from home so we weren't aware of so many options but I mean it's only five or six bucks so yeah it's it's a trend that's been really kick, kicked off the last few years. I've noticed uh, people really gravitating the cold brew. Mm -hmm. And it's a great uh, way to make coffee. And it's such a better, smoother cup than you would get from just iced coffee. Mm -hmm. um, having that really long brew time with room temperature water uh, draws out the, the coffee a lot slower. So you get a lot less bitter flavors than if you just cooled down hot coffee and drank that over ice. So it's definitely a smoother, creamier kind of cup. Um, yeah, I would say this is still smooth, but it's just, it's more like delicate 
flavors or something. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's not as strong as it, I would like. Compared to like how we make our cold brew at home, this this almost tastes just like watered down. Yeah, it's but, like half strength. <laughs> but it's it's not a bad uh, flavor um, profile mm -hmm. in yeah. it. And um, I also wonder how fresh it fresh it is, uh, being that it was made who knows how long ago. And uh, typically we make ours fresh. Uh, it lasts maybe three days in the fridge before we have already drank drank uh, this much and uh, are ready to brew another batch. So, um, yeah, I, especially it'll save you some money too if you're making it uh, at home uh, from scratch. But if you're in a pinch, if you're traveling yeah. or you haven't invested in a, a burr grinder yet, uh, this is definitely a, a good option. It'll definitely beat making just a pot of coffee and pouring it over ice, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, leave a comment below if you have any recommendations for good um, supermarket brand or wherever um, cold brew coffees that maybe we should try out. Yeah, this one ain't bad. Uh, definitely one uh, to try if uh, you're in the market for that kind of thing. Also guys, uh, California Wine Club. We just got our latest shipment, uh, a red and a white. Uh, we'll leave a link down in the description for where you can get uh, some discounts that are going on right now. There's an extra two bottles for your first uh, month's shipment. So you're basically getting buy one, get one free at that, that price. And we've been really happy with the California Wine Club so far. We've been uh, using them for about three month, months now. And we just, they just, send really good stuff. Everything we've tried there, we've really liked it. And uh, they give you discounts too for if you want to reorder any of the stuff, you get it much below MSRP. And you get, it, it's just a way to really kickstart your wine experience if you're if you're new to wine at all. Um, they give you a magazine that shows you all about the winery that the wine is coming from and the background of the, the small businesses that are uh, creating uh, that wine. So it's a great way to kickstart your wine experience. So yeah, check out the California Wine Club below. All right, well that's gonna do it for us at Cork and Java. Uh, make sure you find us on all our social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Looking forward to seeing you guys online. So until next time. Bottoms, bottoms up. up.